do it, but because the opponent knows he will never do it yeah, for the rest of the stock. It's really hard to threaten to two-frame Banjo as well, unless you see him start committing to the up B. Mm -hmm. Just because it, if the threat of side B going high and potentially hitting you or clipping you while you're going for the two-frame is there, it's like, you know, you, you just can't commit to that yet. Mm -hmm. But it looks like Raido's going to be going with Duck Hunt game one, like we saw him earlier. Going to be setting up his own little minefield of, of course, the good old can and the gunmen to, to lend some help and a little bit of the clay pigeons. I know that Raito does really like that is wow. so such a good use of the gunman, right? He's and been the can too. Will do that because the the great thing about the gunman, and we saw this with the set against uh, Midnight Toast, was that because there's like that hit pause, the projectiles hitting the gunman first, it does act more like a shield, and that's what he tends to need it more as than the hitbox itself. Wow, he's getting these combos as well. Forces out the up Ooh. Wow, he he kind of gave him the space. Maybe was like looking for an overcommitment or a whiff punish or something like that, but. Uh, Ross is just able to land for free there, kind of. Mm -hmm. And like, Raido seems like content. He's like, I'm at almost no damage on me. Let me just keep this good thing going, the spotless stock instead, because it's clearly working. Yeah. And I know that Raido really likes Duck Hunt in these like zoner versus zoner matchups. Mm -hmm. uh, usually he goes for Banjo in matchups where it's like an anti zoner kind of situation. Like, uh, like when we see Salem go hero against him, that's kind of right. like the anti zoner character. Yeah. Uh, he'll switch to the Banjo, but uh, the Duck Hunt mostly for. Uh, yeah, there's owners. Ooh. Beautiful catch on the uh, grenade right there. Yeah. And Raido, once again, just showing off how good he is at harassing airborne, airborne opponents with those beans. He's been catching, he's been forcing like extra jumps and like early up Bs out of uh, Ross a lot of those times. And like the times that it doesn't happen, you know, he takes a bunch of damage and is sent like to his death because he's off stage. And one of the cooler things about uh, Banjo, I think is the amount of set play that you have with the grenade, right? Mm -hmm. It's similar to like a Pikachu Thunder Joel, it just moves a lot slower. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh this yeah, is a really bad spot. Good, oh, he taking the he double jump. Oh. oh, did he have a double jump? Yeah, he had a double jump. Okay, uh, I saw fine. the ripple. Yeah. yeah, and like Raido knew it too. He just ran out there to, to try to take it and maybe push the edge guard a little bit further. And once again, like you yeah. pointed out, Slep, the little bit of hit pause on the can itself is enough to let Raido navigate that situation with some reaction. Oh, looking for the second play pigeon. Wasn't able to get it, but Still, he's in a really, really good position here. Still up a stock, almost taking the second one. Ross staying flexible, though. Seeing that uh, Raido is starting to look for some grabs. But here we go, a higher can. Forcing again an up B. And you saw right after the up B how much more confident Raido looks. Like, oh, now I can definitely get the up air yeah. to try to close out the stock. But Immediately started positioning himself underneath him. Yeah, and Ross, good on him just to come down with a hitbox and, f uh, and beat that out. Yeah, another thing, uh, when Ross tries to Wonder Wing and Raido throws out the can, the can explodes and sends Raido away before he gets hit by the Wonder Wing and he doesn't die. Right, because it's such a weaker hitbox. Yeah. yeah. That's actually a big part of the, the reason why Duck Hunts toss out the can as their reversal option. It's like, the can's going to kill me later than a lot of what my opponent's going to hit me with. Right. And I'm ca causing a trade at the same time. And it's frame one? Yeah. It's beautiful stuff. Right? I love that Raido just calmly jumped un yeah, over the here. up tilt. Yeah, I'm out of like, here. See no. ya. <laughs> But Ross has his opportunity now. He's got some ledge pressure. The egg getting rid of the can, but that's, again, that's the distraction element of the yeah. can. It's just like, I just wanted you to do something to it so I can come landing down on your head. Raido still in a strong place. Uh -oh. oh, good space. That movement by Ross is perfect. Yeah. Getting around that. Like, if you can maneuver around the can without actually using any of your resources, that is so huge. Yeah, absolutely. Like, if he air dodged there, that's a rough situation because Raido just dashes forward and grabs you, right? Mm-hmm. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, ev him. everyone got hit by that. <laughs> that was a beautiful Wonder Wing and evening up the yeah. game right there. That was huge. Yeah. That was a very, very early kill for Ross. He and Ross that. is looking so good. Oh, man. You saw him shove off Raido. I think he wanted to do something in the drop zone and accidentally grab the ledge. Yeah. But that was already <gasps> starting to. <gasps> He's fine. Raido didn't do anything. He just kind of stood on stage and said, I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait for you to come back. Because, like, so far he hasn't he hasn't been bitten badly by, like, staying back. Yeah. Yeah, Raido, definitely a waiter. Ooh, the can! Save him again! Yeah. And slowly the game is slipping more and more for Raido. Like, it just took that, that one time for Raido to, to poke Ross off the ground, and then the damage starts adding up bit by bit. But Ross finds his way back onto solid. Oh man, that that pressure was pretty nice by Ross, and he got the air dodge. But then, Raido specifically air dodged and landed on his can, so that Ross couldn't chase right. the landing. It saved him. Yeah, the can providing so much safety for Raido. Not only the safety, but also the space on the stage. You know, that can just such a big threat that Ross is kind of forcing himself to respect it. And uh, there are definitely situations where you just don't want to respect it at all. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, man, only one feather what? left. You have to be so careful with this last one. Ross kind of just going for a pokes now. I think he's starting to catch on to the fact that Raido has been jumping from ledge a lot, too. Right. Yeah, Raido's spending a lot of time in the air. He's not really, like, scared of Banjo in the air. Anything that he throws out is going to be, like, an up air, low knockback. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, uh, Nair, low knockback. The only thing that he's worried about is, like, forward air, and it's slow enough that you can just react to it. Mm -hmm, yeah. Oh, it's forced to use the up B, yeah. and once again, Raido sees the up B, and we see him immediately leap up after. He's like, well, now you can't get away from my bird, and that's what I really wanted, was to get you to use your resource first. Ross made that so close, though. Yeah. And, like, there, there was definitely near that uh, ledge trapping at the very end, there was a real sense that if he just gets this one last read, this one extra Wonder Wing, he's going to walk away with the game. So she compares to how it started, where, like, Raido got, like, 120% on Ross and only took, like, 10% himself. Like, it was looking very, very grim. So good stuff on Ross making those adjustments, especially the Wonder Wing for stock two, yeah. where he just, just tossed it out there as his uh, edge guard, and it was such a fast burst option. More importantly, he tossed it out in a place where Raido had no gunman, had no can to take that Wonder Wing so that he could react to it. By using it in a more unreactable situation, right, that's when right. he managed to get a whole lot of uh, value out of it. So we'll see whether or not Ross can leverage that thing even more against Raido. It looks like Raido, yeah, is going to just stick with Duck Hunt. Yeah, so Ross has learned a lot yeah. that last game. And so it's all a question of, well, two questions. The question is, one, can Ross put that knowledge to the test? And then two, how much is Raido going to switch up his game? Because you know he's got the mix-up on deck. Oh, Raido is, is a beautiful set player in that sense, right? Like, you... I, I think of them as like onion players where like they have setups with layers where every time you survive one layer, it turns out there's another layer and right, it makes you right. cry because like you thought you were free and you're not. So it's definitely fun to see as it develops. But we got ourselves Smashville once again. Yeah, I like the run back. I think this is actually a really good stage for Banjo. That top platform, you know, when you throw the grenade on it, it just invalidates a whole bunch of aerial space above. Using, using the uh, the down smash as a landing option, interesting. Also, I think that's part of the reason why, uh, and, uh, separately, why Raido is doing jump get up from the ledge so much is because he knows how tempting it is for Ross to catch neutral and get up attack with Wonder Wing. Right. And he's specifically jumping to get around that. Ooh. Oh. Dash back F smash almost took it right there, just off at the timing. Yeah. I like the egg there just saying, get that can out of here. I don't want anything to do with it. Off my stage. Raido was all over that. He knew that mix-up already. He's mm. done that. He's, he's like, I've, I've done that. I've done that with that character before. <laughs> yeah, a lot Ross. of people will either shield or try to grab for that grenade, and Ross was ready for that, trying to throw out the Wonder Wing, but Raido just two steps ahead. I love how patient Ross is being with his approaches, right? Like, he gets into Raido's face, but he doesn't immediately commit to an attack, right? Because then that's what Raido's expecting. He wants to play like, defensively and punish it. He's just waiting to see what Raido flinches, and right there, actually just fighting his way right through yeah. the can with the Wonder Wing. Raido was holding shield, and he dropped shield afterwards. Maybe he was, like, trying to jump away or something. I don't know. It didn't make sense really too much, but mm -hmm. uh, Raido definitely kicking himself for that one. Of course, that, the grenade movement as well with the B-reverse, helping Ross exist a little bit longer against the can. And that's the, the main ticket, is especially managing the air dodge and your, your up against the can when you're trying to maneuver around it. Because once you use those tools, that's when uh, Raido feels comfortable like moving in for a kill. Ross just kind of going in with the dash tag, getting that back air as well. Looking for a bit more, and he's keeping advantage really well as soon as he gets it. Mm -hmm. The issue has been like getting into advantage, right? Because like once Raido takes advantage, it's so hard to, sn to snatch it back from him. Yeah. Oh, man, that catch once again. Yeah. Just getting the very tip. Like, Ross is getting really good about uh, when he uses the up special as a mix-up to get away from the can, controlling his drift to make it harder for Raido to follow up on, but Raido still chased it there. Now, Ross is still in a really good position here. Mm -hmm. I love the egg just to Ooh. knock the can away as early as possible, but trying once again to catch the uh, a grounded get-up, and Raido gets away from it. Great use of shield. I love just running down and shielding against Duck Hunt right there. Because, like, worst case scenario, you get grabbed, you take a bit of percent. But in most situations, like, the Duck Hunt probably wants to throw something out at you, and then you can punish it. Especially the can, right? And, yeah. like, uh, when you're when you're cognizant of whether or not can exists, and, like, you have a juggle on a Duck Hunt going, then, like, you can bet the Duck Hunt is so tempted to can next time you get in his face. He just ran through his spot dodge and down smashed him. Almost took the stock, too. I mean, but that was kind of a crazy mix-up. I did not expect that at all. Ross has been really loving that Woo! down smash, and has been doing him some good value right now. And right now, also, Ross in the lead. Yeah, he's kept this lead really, really well throughout this whole game. And we'll see if Raido is going to kind of start to snatch it back. I like that he threw out the grenade there, grabbed it, and then just said, I'm just landing. Mm -hmm. 
So this whole time he's been trying to go high, kind of land with a button uh, that isn't, you know, the grenade or an air dodge. He's been attacking a lot out of the disadvantage, so the one it on his part. The one subtle thing I've noticed as well is now that Ross has the stock lead, he's actually camping in neutral. He's not even closing the gap. He recognizes how much harder it is for Duck Hunt to force openings, right. and he's trying to put that pressure onto Ryder, saying like, hey, you have to come to me. You have to be the one to make the guess, and then I get to try punishing it instead. Yeah. The one thing that I do like that Raido is doing, he's kind of got that next level on him, right? He's backing off from underneath the platform. He's giving him that space, saying, please walk under this platform so I can start to approach you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, I mean, they're, they're both just kind of jousting from opposite ends of the screen because they recognize that that positioning is so important. Wow, that movement yeah. just, just out of reach and pooping <gasps> in Duck Hunt's face. Not able to get too much off of that. Quick mash from Raido. That down tilt to catch the landing and shifting your hurtbox at the same time, so good from Ross. Yeah, the hurtbox shift is huge with that move. He's got the grenade in hand. Oh, explodes on him. Not enough to do anything, though. This is really, really close. Mm -hmm. Ross just oh. still alive, just barely, holding on to it at 190%. And this is proper value when you're fighting against Duck Hunt, right? right? You're making him work so hard because you're not giving him uh, a KO that he can just react to and, and seize. And nice. getting the punish on the spot dodge, just recognizing how much intimidation he was putting on to Raido. Beautiful. Look at the and momentum that he's got right now. The crowd is behind him. This guy is focused up. Look at him. Yeah. He is super focused. And on top of that, that was a two stock. The, and the big thing, the reason why that was a two stock, right, is because he took the second stock first, and we changed, like, we saw a complete change in the tides of their entire set. And the moment was like, oh wait, you have to come to me, and I'm just gonna take it nice and slow, and you can hit me with all the cans you want from the other side of the stage. It's gonna take ages to kill me. I'm Banjo. I have the weight of two characters. Yeah. <laughs> so hey, man. you gotta take your time. Yeah. That can almost did it on the cross side of the stage. I mean, obviously, if it went the other way, probably would have killed. But, yeah. uh, you know, you take whatever you can get. The important thing in this game is, like, you can take as many hits as you want. As long as you don't lose that stock, you're still in a good position. Yeah, you just got to take the right hits. Right. And not the right toe hits. Anyway, we're going to be going into game three. That was really a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> that was a super stretch. <laughs> and we're going to go to a stadium, actually. So... This will be interesting, especially if uh, Ross manages to get that early, uh, the, the essentially the stock lead over Raido again, because now he have this much space to maneuver around the can and stuff. So this might bite Raido in that sense. Well, Raido did win game one on this stage. That said, Ross did start to adapt to him towards the end of game one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. So we'll see if that plays a big part in this, or if Raido's finally got the download and this is the stage to do it on. Are we sure it was in Smashville game one? I'm pretty sure. Okay. Or no. No, 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 no. You're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. It was, it was the other set with Raido playing that he You were thinking of Midnight Toast. Yes. Okay. That, that makes a lot more sense. I was going to say, like, I, I could have sworn. That's but a punish. F that's a punish, yeah. That's, like, the most dangerous place on the stage to go with that for, unfortunately. Yeah, and on this stage in particular, where that side blast zone is so much closer to the ledge, mm -hmm. it's even worse. That's, it ends up now really unfortunate for us. Like, if he got that Wonder Wing, it would have been great. Oh, sure. Because, uh, like, establishing the set in uh, the last game with a lead that early is such a huge deal. But now he's he's the one that has to make up this huge, uh, like, football field distance against Raido over and over again if he wants to get that uh, momentum in his sails again. He's going to be watching that edge. Looking for the trump this time. I like it. He hasn't really gone for it this whole time. Mm -hmm. he's, he's like, Raido has been waiting Ooh. on the ledge, and then most of the time has just been jumping over entirely to j avoid the uh, Wonder Wing stuff. Yeah, that ledge jump every single time. And he was trying to catch it right there with the, the beer reverse grenade. Yeah. Uh, so maybe if he's just a little bit closer to him with that one, then he'll catch him next time. There's the jump again. He knew it. Yeah. He was focused on the can. No, Ross is definitely super cognizant of it. Uh, he's just looking for the right thing to get it, because to, to Raido's credit, like, he is jumping, but he is changing his drift of that jump a lot. Oh, oh he's not going to make it. Yeah, the forward air just punching that dog right in the face. Punch him in the snout to establish your dominance. <laughs> All right. Ross clawing his way back into this one. That up B, just like, see, okay, so he, that up B was a super bait, because last time that he up like that, Raido just went right up and got him. Right, right he's, he's been stalking the shadow every time he sees yeah. that, that foot pad. And now he's landing, like, usually he's throwing out the grenade towards Raido, and then he's kind of drifting away. Now he's landing with the grenade mm. to make sure that Raido can't come and challenge him. And otherwise, Ross is still taking his time, which I, I like that he's not being impatient, even though he is at the percent deficit. Uh, he still has five minutes to play with, which means there's a whole lot of time for uh, Raido to do something that you can actually, like, swoop in and punish and, like, recognize. 
There's no reason to rush things out too soon, but Raido once again getting a punish on the Wonder Ring two stocks in a row for him. Yeah, speaking of rushing things out too soon, Ross definitely rushing a little bit right there. Raido wasn't really at a percent where that was going to be a huge deal if he hit it, and even if he hit it, he might have been minus on hit. It, I think the, the attempt was just to break out of the corner, and he was right. expecting uh, that Raido wasn't going to be ready in a pun like from a position he could punish from, but uh, Raido was right there, ready to go. That gunman just blocking the grenade, making it so much harder for Ross to fight his way back in. Finally gets that pair. That was some clean movement. Like that air dodge specifically that Ross mixed in there to get in that position, so good. Like the, every every single time Ross reaches Raido, it's because he made some good platforming reads. Like it's really impressive to see him have to do this over and over again and get away with it. Yeah, did you notice that the gunman has a smiley face under on his poncho? I did not notice that. He has yeah. a smiley face on his poncho in between I, his legs. I swear. I, I think it's like kind of a happy signal to the players. Like, hey, you beat the gunman. Congratulations. <laughs> smiley face. But here we go. Nair catching right on his way back to the stage. A forward air just barely not going to line up right here with the perfect air dodge to reach the ledge. Yeah, it was the same situation as last time, except in this time, uh, Raido had a little bit more space to work with. He was able to get a little bit closer before uh, he had to air dodge there. Mm -hmm. Ross waiting in center stage. At death percent. Yep, and yep. he's actually dead. Raido calling out the roll in. He's. There. I think he just straight up reacted to that. I think he saw him start that roll animation. Oh, and then I see. Up smash out of shield comes out like what frame like six or seven? I assume something fast. Yeah, uh, something fast enough to catch a roll. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So good stuff to Raido adapting at the end there. Um, kept it really, really. Uh, you know, ban banjo, or not banjo, the banjo. Uh, Ross. Ross. Yeah. Uh, Got really close at the end there. I mean, the the second stock, he just kind of fell apart a little bit. It was it was just kind of rough. He couldn't take it. He couldn't seal it out. Yeah, like the the thing that was so rough is again both of those wonder wings, right? Like it, it's I, I don't want to say like oh man those are terrible decisions and that like if he got either of them, I understand like kind of the reward he was looking for and like the sort of positional advantage he was hoping for, but like right. unfortunately both of those options were punished by Raido. And like right. having both Wonder Wings killed, like th that was such an earlier percent like than we saw on game two, right? He lived to 190 on game two.